Oh snap, Game of Day Nation, we back. We got Tuskegee University taking on Benedict College for the SEAC Championship, and Benedict had one goal in mind. Hey, Mr. Mission, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0. My, my, my finger looking naked, but you can't talk this game. One of those like he said, his finger was looking naked, and the model was 1-0. So let's see if Benedict can go 1-0. But it looked like Tuskegee came in to Benedict looking to spoil all them dreams and hopes. Game Day Nation, let's ride. Now starting off this game, Bryson Williams drops back, and he's trying to establish the ball through the air side to side first before he goes vertical down the field. Then they put it on the ground to Terran Taylor to make him pick up that first down, which they didn't get last down. But after that first down by Tuskegee, Benedict said, man, hold on, let's tighten this defensive pressure up as they get this third down sack by Lobert Benelius. Now, Benedict College takes over, and as you see, they had a play action, and that fooled me all the way out the frame. But Rashad McCain picks up a huge first down for the Benedict. But right here, Eric Finnis does his best Lamar Jackson impression, or you can say Michael Vick with that seven on his back, rolls out the pocket, sees nothing open, but takes it on his own and picks up a first down right in the red zone. But on third and short, Tuskegee looked like they're trying to hold the door. The Tigers were trying to get in, but they were not letting it happen. But Eric Phoenix said, man, just give me the ball, make me a way, make me a hole, just block for me, and I'm gonna make everything happen as he runs it in for the first touchdown in the game. But right here on this third down, Tuskegee cannot get anything open. They just throw the ball away. But then on fourth down with the punt, Benedict comes up with a huge block punt, takes in it for seven, so now the score is 14 to zero. But Tuskegee said, man, we ain't finna lay down like that. As he drops back and throws a dime to Antonio Meeks, which you guys can't see because shooters do miss sometimes. Steph Curry do miss sometimes. But Antonio Meeks goes in for a 70 yard touchdown. Eric Phoenix said, man, bruh, y'all already knew what happened last drop. Just give me the ball and let me rock as he gets another first down. So Benedict is so smart with the offensive coordinators. They seen that they were getting a lot of pressure up front, so they developed the screenplay, which actually goes in their favor as Noah Scotland takes the screenplay and goes all the way in for a touchdown. But it is called back for a holding penalty. The play comes back from the spot where the holding penalty was called. But that doesn't matter, because Noah Scotland says, give me the ball right back. And what happens? He takes it and scores the very next play. So the holding didn't even matter. Touchdown, Benedict College. And I can confirm, after that, their defense was turned all the way up as they get another third down stop and get the ball right back to their offense. So I'm watching the game, inspecting on everything that's going on. So I'm like, Eric been running, but can he throw it? And look at him, just throws a 70 yard bomb to Reginald Harden like it's nothing. <laughs> like what? So then after Scotland got his touchdown, they give it to DeAndre Duhart to get his touchdown. So now they're just feeding the whole team. Around here, everybody eats. And I love that motto. Another touchdown for Benedict College. Now by Tuskegee, even though they were losing, I love this play call. So they run a corner post, which puts the safety 23 in a position that he doesn't know which one to pick. He picks the corner, they throw the post. They pick the post, he throws the corner. I love that concept because it puts the safety in a one-on-one -on -one situation to make a play. Great play by the Tuskegee offensive coordinators. I love it. Now we done seen Scotland get it done with the running game, but look at him in the receiving game. Look at that catch. Barely, mainly, really one-handed catch to pick up a first down. And with this receiving touchdown by Joshua Gaddy, I knew he was the GOAT because we got the same first name. It was born in him. <laughs> but another touchdown by Benedict College, and they're just running the score up at this point. Not even halftime yet. And the score is 35-14. And the Tigers are not even done yet, man. Lober Danilius and Aaron Miller come up with a combined team sack right here, and they just they're just dominating their offensive line right now. I mean, just look at how much pressure is in Bryson's face. Like, he has a little bit of time, but after that time breaks down, tch, there's nothing. And just look, man. Once again, Eric Phoenix rolling out of the pocket, just using his legs in every way that he can to get that first down and to bring his team to a W for that championship. And with the score being 42-14 to 14 at the half, I'm pretty sure y'all know what happened at the halftime. Right at the halftime, they get my ball right back to my boy, Noah Scotland, who I'm a huge fan of now. They give it back to him again for another touchdown. And that's pretty much how the game went. 
touchdown after touchdown stop after stop by Benedict, which led Benedict College to finally win their first ever conference championship. And the turn up on the field was serious. There was a lot of tears, a lot of crying, a lot of hype, a lot of happiness. So many different emotions were let out on that field because people don't understand. This was the first time they went undefeated all season and got the conference championship. So it all finally made sense. The work that they put in in the off season, everything finally came together for that one moment right there. And I appreciate you guys for watching, but without further ado, say it's game day nation. Game day nation. And we out. And we out.